Actually, we're literally about to get there next because that's the next thing that's about to come up. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. So I read the note. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the well, here's the thing, Isaiah. The damage numbers will be getting kind of fat. The HP damage won't be right because yes, to, and I, ooh, baby. Okay, yeah. This is so. <laughs> this is one of the things in the game that I just really not a fan this is one of the i would say uh clunkiest clunky bits in the game i'm not gonna say it's the this, clunkiest but it's clunky this has been one of the biggest complaints so far that i've watched or heard or biggest read complaint about. i've heard has been the initiative system but that's I, the I, that is that's the other uh, one. number one this is this yeah. is the second <laughs> yeah so okay for audience sake i'm going to step by step how this works and then we're going to talk about it uh because it's it's kind of a lot. Um, actually, before I do that, I would just like to say f- from you two, uh, let's do a Wizards of the Coast scale. Uh, very satisfied, satisfied, neutral, dissatisfied, or very dissatisfied. Where do you fall on the HP mechanics? I don't. Here's the other thing. I, I can't even call it HP mechanics because it's like four mechanics rolled into one. But let's just say it's the HP mechanic for the sake of I, explaining. <laughs> Where do you fall? I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to go with very dissatisfied. Very dissatisfied. Uh, Ooh, OK. I'm going to go with dissatisfied. Dissatisfied. OK, I am also it adds in, an extra step into combat and math and adding it's health more than one, like, Matt. I, <laughs> I'm going to say yeah. an extra like three steps. Extra three. Yeah, okay. that's, well, that's what I mean. Like it, it adds an extra layer of complexity that didn't need to be there cool idea hold on, hold on. don't get too deep yeah. into it because i want to explain it before we get deep into it mm-hmm. but we'll, we'll, don't worry matt we'll come to it. it yeah so uh yeah i'm also gonna say dissatisfied um not I'll very change mine to dissatisfied then i like i'm not i don't hate it yeah i don't hate I do, it like, I, get... I like that they account for damage There's you some... take ver- like uh like the fact that like you have to roll the hit and then you deal your damage and then the person takes a number of damage there's based like that that is an, uh, a sort of translation to the damage you've done i like the idea of it and i just do not like the execution so i'm gonna yeah i'll say yes. dissatisfied not very dissatisfied. there's some uh, there's some bits of it that are kind of fun conceptually and fictionally so okay all right so how how, how, how does damage how does damage and hp work in this game all right so every uh so everybody starts the game with six HP. By the way, if you'd like to take another shot, um, six HP is also the amount of HP you start with in Apocalypse World. <laughs> and everybody has six HP in that game, too. Uh, so everybody has six points of HP. You can increase your HP later down the road through leveling, but you start at six. And then every class has damage thresholds. So the way the flow of an attack works is uh, a monster attacks you as a player. Let's say you are a uh, actually, no, hold on. I'm going to I'm going to pull up my rogue character, stab it the ribbit real quick. so I can have some concrete numbers to explain this. Of course, I should have done this before. Do we I was going to say before that, do we want to go over at least like what the classes are in the game or is they're that D&D like, classes? Okay. I like they're the D&D classes you're used to. There's not I mean, is there even one that's weird? I don't think well, so. Well, no, I meant just like uh, to Guardians. Guardians Paladin. Uh it's a, it it's a little smite. Tank. It's, it's a little different, but Paladin. it's mostly uh archety- it's archetypally going for Paladin more or less. I I don't really feel like there's anything to say about the classes. Well, it's just for people who didn't haven't like I mean look at this to list them off it's bard druid guardian ranger rogue seraph sorcerer warrior wizard guardian is paladin seraph is cleric warrior is fighter the rest of them have the same names that's it Mm. there's nothing crazy there i I do wish they had changed some of the names okay (laughs) uh anyway okay so hp and damage so a monster 
attacks your character. Let's go with I'm going to go with uh, using a rogue as an example. Um, so you have an evasion score. Which side note, I uh, not crazy about uh, the word evasion because <laughs> evasion implies a very particular thing, which is you're getting out of the way. But then the book also explicitly says that evasion doesn't only mean you're dodging out of the way of an attack. It could mean you're blocking it. It could mean you're using magic to deflect it. It could mean you're parrying something. And I immediately so go armor class or just call evasion it defense. Sport, like, yeah. yeah, just defense. call it defense. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter. So you have an evasion score. It's effectively your AC. So my character stab at the ribbit. He's a uh, he's a rogue with 13 evasion. So the monster attacks me. The bear, the the mutated zombie bear takes a swipe at me. The zombie bear rolls a 15. That goes over my evasion, so he hits. Okay. Zombie bear now rolls damage. Let's say he rolls 15 damage. Every character has damage thresholds. So for a rogue at level one, the thresholds are four is your minor, nine is your major, 14 is your severe. Uh... Minor damage is one point of HP damage. Major damage is two points of HP lost. Severe damage is three points of HP lost. So the bear attacks me. He deals 15 damage to me. That would be severe damage. So I would mark three points of HP loss. However, I have armor. So the GM hits me. He says you are being dealt 15 damage. I say I would like to mark one point of armor that one point of armor drops it from 15 down to 12 incoming damage 12 incoming damage is below severe but above my major so i take two points of hp damage however i've gone cross-eyed however i can mark armor multiple times if i want so if i wanted i could say i would like to mark my armor twice for six points of armor reduction instead of just three. Sorry, I have armor three in this scenario. Uh, I would like to mark my armor twice for six points of armor reduction. So the 15 damage goes down to nine damage. And then I look and go, oh, my my threshold for major is nine. I want to mark armor a third time, bringing it down to what? Uh, Six damage. Now I'm taking one point of HP damage. So the steps are monster attack, check against evasion. Evasion has been passed or failed. Cool. Monster does X amount of damage. Compare it to your damage thresholds. Would you like to mark armor? Yes or no. How many slots of armor? Zero to three. And you can get more. You can get more slots of armor later, but at level one, zero to three. Now compare, after marking armor, damage threshold, how much HP damage are you taking? That's for every attack. You have to go through all of those steps for every attack. That's where it becomes a problem. (laughs) Because that's essentially four or five steps for every attack. Just to know how much damage I fucking took. Just to know how much HP damage you took, yes. This is something that the DM doesn't really have to worry about from what I looked at. No, Actually, no, from monsters, monsters have monsters have damage thresholds. Oh, they do. Yep. Uh, sh- yep. I didn't see that. I was looking at the monster moves. They I have was like, nope. Yeah, they have damage thresholds like everybody oh, else. Oh, God. So even the DM has to do this? What the yes, shit? Yes, the DM has to do this for every monster, too. Ugh. And also, if your if the damage in there's one other sorry there's one other scenario if the incoming damage is below your minor threshold you take a point of stress instead because there's a stress mechanic in this game which is effectively just stamina you mark stress for a whole bunch of different things to like use abilities or overcome a problem or stuff or the gm might tell you tell you to mark stress if you like failed a roll or something like that Uh, so if it's below your minor you take stress here's the thing with this and the reason that and I don't know if this is the same reason for you guys or not but this is the reason that this bugs me there is a and buckle up gentlemen I'm about to go on a rant get comfy there's a 
there's a sliding scale that you move back and forth in game design, all right? If a mechanic is more, not a sliding scale, there's an inverse scale, is what I should say. There's an inverse scale. So if a mechanic is more complicated and requires more steps, then you should be doing it less often. And if a mechanic is simpler and requires less steps, you can do it more often. And those two things should have an inverse relationship. How complicated is the mechanic? How often does the mechanic come up? Those should always have an inverse relationship. So to give you the D and D to use D and D as the, you know, the touchstone example, an attack roll in D and D is very simple. Roll die, add bonuses, check against a number. So you do that a lot in D&D, but it's not that hard to do, so it doesn't, it's not exhausting, you know? You don't have to check five different numbers every time you attack someone. You check what you rolled, and then you check the enemy's number. Nice and simple. For every subsequent step to an attack, it gets slightly more complicated, but happens slightly less often. So you attack a monster, that's, that happens often. Actually hitting a monster and dealing damage in D&D happens less often, right? Because you're going to miss sometimes. So when you hit a monster, there's a second step. You roll your damage dice and add them together. But that happens less often than a regular attack. Having advantage or disadvantage. That happens less often than both of those things. But it adds another step. But it's okay because it doesn't happen as often. So if you have advantage or disadvantage, you check, you roll two dice, compare which is higher or lower, take the one that you need to take, add your bonus, attack. Uh, Rolling an attack, hitting with advantage or disadvantage, and getting a crit, that happens even less often. So the math of, oh, I rolled, I got a crit, I now need to roll another pool of dice and add that to my initial pool of dice is another step, but it's okay because it's the rarest. It's the rarest event in the attack. That's how that should work. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Am I making sense? Yeah. Yep. Okay. The damage threshold checking uh, to figure out how much HP you have uh, that you have to, you know, take happens for every single attack in the game no okay not true if you miss you don't have to do this but if you get hit you have to compare against your damage threshold and consider if you want to mark armor or not and then mark hp once it's all said and done every time you get hit that's like a four-step process for something that's happening pretty often (laughs) yeah so yes. uh, in a D&D comparison, all the math that you would have, all, everything you have to do if you attack with advantage and get a crit, imagine if you had to do all those steps for every single attack. That's kind of hmm. what we're looking at. Not exactly, but kind of.